welcome back to Vlogmas. It is day seven. Woo! Seventh of December. Seven. <laughs> Apologies, there was no Vlogmas yesterday. I was having a bad day. I, just, I needed the day of just chillax. Yeah, I was having a bad day. But yeah, we are back. Hooray! Are well, we? yeah, he's back for a very limited time because he's about to leave and abandon me for the next four days. Four days with work. He's going off to Liverpool. And then I'm going off to my mum's before he gets back. So we're not going to see each other for like a whole week. Aww. Sad times. Anyone's got the number party? Yeah, sorted. <laughs> Let's just get these advents done. I've told him he can do all the advents this, this today. Right, we have figured this one out. This is a fireplace. Thank you very much, Paul, for definitely clarifying that. And then the bits that we got the day after. So like a broom and little shovel attached to the side and then when you pull this up supposedly the letters are meant to fall out but they're not really doing it there we go so it's like um in the in private drive when mr Dursley's block dursley has blocked up the fireplace and then all the letters come flying out so yeah there's that we also got a uh dudley and we have this is the one that i got the day before i stopped vlogging it's the box and inside is Harry's birthday cake, if he'll focus on it. Ah, there we go. Harry's birthday cake from Hagrid. So that's really cute and I've just broken it. But cool. Rickard. Open number seven. A leaky fold inside. Ooh. Seven. Go down on this one. Should know. We've got to put it countless times. <laughs> Oh, you have a challenge. I have a challenge. So I don't because I'm not here. <laughs> and you have a coin. I have a coin and you have an eclair. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Right, what's the challenge? Wrap Christmas presents. Oh. oh what a shame I'm not here. <laughs> like you ever wrap them anyway. I'm sure I've told this story before, but he's actually made me wrap my own Christmas presents. I didn't make you wrap your own Christmas presents. I wrapped it and then asked you to help me tie a pretty bow around it. Wrap my own Christmas present. We have a... Gingerbread man? Yeah, I'd go with the gingerbread man. Gingerbread man gone. There we go, advent's done. So we've just had to take down some of our outside decorations because it is windy. Storm Barra is now on its way to us. Well, it's pretty much here. It is very windy this morning, very cold. So yeah, Santa's come down. Our parachute and Santa's come down. Hopefully the rest of them will survive the uh, the storm. They should do. They're all plugged in anyway, so fingers crossed they won't go anywhere. But yeah, so I'm going to do some wrapping of presents today. Because I was not leaving this house. Ah, oh, look at Lukey Cauldron, so I'm very nice. Yeah, I'm not leaving this house today because of this weather, or I have no intention to, unless I desperately decide that I need to go to the shops or something. I am staying in. And I will say goodbye. You say goodbye. Oh. Not going just yet, I might be pop first, but the vlog will be bad. Abandoning in me is. Sad times. There he goes. Abandoning me. Look at that weather. Jeez. Oh dear. So yeah, the terrible weather today is keeping me inside. It's been upgraded to like a proper storm now. So not good especially considering we've just had storm arwen so all the stuff that's been weakened by storm arwen is is just not gonna last through this storm i don't think um just as well we didn't put our little ice cool lights up outside because i think they'd have gone flying by now i'm gonna finish my coffee grab the christmas presents from upstairs and do some wrapping whilst watching christmas films i may have to kick the cats out though well especially tonks because they're just a pain in the butt when you're trying to wrap up Christmas presents. Did just want to show you quickly before I start wrapping up Christmas presents. While I was having my day yesterday, I did do uh, some more little crafty bits. So my snowman now has his scarf on. Uh, I had to do a new scarf, the one I knitted before, because the one I knit before was not long enough. So yeah, now I've got his little scarf. And I did another gingerbread man, which is a little bit neater than the first one. And I also put the faces on all the other gingerbread men. I think I finally got the hang of their faces. <laughs> those look a lot better. But yeah, I'll get those put together in the next couple of days. I've got to do the hearts for the garland as well at some point. But 
now that I'm on my own uh, for the next few days before I go down to London, uh, I hopefully will get those finished. Bags and bags of Christmas presents. <laughs> we always do our Christmas shopping super early. Like we, we pick stuff up throughout the year when we see stuff that we think people would like for Christmas. We don't do it all in one go. So yeah, all Christmas shopping is done and dusted. Not that there's a lot this year because poor. <laughs> but you have to have a Christmas film on while you're wrapping up Christmas presents. It's just the law or something Christmassy has to be on. So uh, I've picked up some DVDs because I can never find things on channels. So I've got The Grinch, Who Stole Christmas, the Jim Carrey version. And then I've got this, this is a classic. I don't know if anyone remembers this, Flint Street Nativity. Um, it's where all like the comedians and stuff like pretended to be the kids. It's really funny, so I've got that. One of my favourite things, and I couldn't find the DVD for it because I know I've got it, but thankfully I've just found it on Amazon Prime, so I'm really happy. I don't know if anyone's ever watched this, but this is one of my favourite Christmas films. Uh, it was a TV movie, it, never, it wasn't in the um, cinemas, but it's uh, A Christmas Carol the Musical, and it's got uh, Kelsey Grammer as Ebenezer Scrooge, and I, I love it. Rich again doesn't really enjoy it but i think it's great and it's something i always watch at christmas so i don't know i've got that or there's some good ones on netflix <laughs> really awful you know those awful like cheesy christmas films that just come out at christmas one of my favorite ones on netflix is the christmas prince uh, a christmas prince series so there's three of them now she's got a christmas prince um one and then you've got a christmas prince the royal wedding and then a christmas prince the royal baby and they're awful but i love them <laughs> so i always watch those over christmas as well but i think i'm going to stick a christmas carol the musical on um it's like i said it's on amazon prime so if you have prime and you haven't watched it do it's got some really good songs in it um there's uh ruthie henshaw's in it as well i just yeah i i love it it's cheesy and it's heartwarming <laughs> and it's just brilliant love it i have already wrapped up some presents um before today uh, only a few because i then got bored but this is the theme we are going for this year we're going for brown paper packages tied up with string <laughs> well ribbons so the wrapping paper came from and the ribbon actually they all came from primark uh, and the tags everything came from primarni um i did get like plain brown paper um and i did wrap one up in plain brown paper um it's just craft paper like that but I thought that was a bit boring, so um, I saw this paper and also this paper in Primark and thought that would be better. So that's what we're going with for the theme this year. Another thing I wanted to show you before I start wrapping up is this. This is my niece's, one of my niece's Christmas Eve box. We've got another one which is exact same, except it says their name on it. Um, these came from Etsy. I got them Christmas Eve boxes for the first time last year and I got them off a friend. Uh, and they just came in like cardboard boxes, which they wrecked. So I wanted to get them proper ones that can be used and reused for years rather than having to buy new every year. And these came from Etsy from a shop called Cufflinks Galore. Um, I think it was about £20 each, but they are so cute. And this is all proper engraved in. So yeah, with their name on it. And the shop was amazing. So I actually ordered a smaller box than this, uh, but they messaged me to say they were out of stock and offered me a free upgrade to the next size so really really great store so i will link their details down below go check them out on etsy so the box came empty and then i've bought some bits don't you dare mess up my wrapping that i've already done and then i bought some bits off etsy to go in it and i've also bought some stuff from other places so let me just show you they don't watch this so it's absolutely fine for me to show you what's in here so they have got they've both got the exact same in each box so they've got a little reindeer headband uh, that came from B&M I think it was about a pound um, these how cute is these these are uh, flanimals <laughs> and the they came from Etsy and it's the shops called flanimals UK again I'll link all these stores down below and it's a little snowman um, and it's a flannel so yeah I just thought that was so cute and it's got a little kinder egg you could pick different things to go in the middle of it so I think there was like a chocolate orange or uh, a cream egg and stuff but yeah I went for a kinder egg because I know the girls love kinder eggs so there we go little flannimal uh, they've each got a little bauble with their name on it these again came from B&M 
I think they're a couple of quid each. Well, it's got a C on it for Christina. Amelia's got an A. Um, some elf badges. They came from uh, a shop near us. It's like a pound shop. It's called like 99 and under. Um, but yeah, I thought those were cute. Um, then they've got some chocolate coins which have their names on them, if I can get it to focus on it. Um, and again, these came from Etsy and the store was called uh, Sophia's Attic UK. I tried for ages. I was going around the pound shops and B&M and stuff to try and find like a Christmas activity set because like they love doing their colouring and games and stuff and I couldn't find any. But I did find this one on Etsy uh, and it's from a shop called Rustic by Marnie. And again, it's personalised, so it's got their name on it. And it's got like an activity book, some stickers, crayons, yeah, I just thought that was really, really, really cute. Um, and they were only a couple of pounds each, so really good bargain. I've also just chucked in some, like, chocolate in there. So, like, the chocolate tree decorations and some candy canes, um, chocolate lollipops and stuff. Um, these are some, like, Disney hair clips. I do an advent calendar for them each year, and I bought the Disney... Um, the Minnie Mouse kind of jewellery and hair collection from Primark to go in each of their calendars and these ones are the ones that didn't fit in the <laughs> calendar so I just put them in a little baggie so they can have them in their Christmas Eve box. Um, this next few items they came as like a set so you've got like a reindeer hot chocolate cone, uh, a cone of sweets and reindeer food which you put out on Christmas Eve so the reindeers know how to get to your house. And those came from Etsy and the shop was called CK Creations Online. And I think it was about six pounds each for that set. So bargain. Um, they've also got some little Christmas erasers, which came from the pound shop. Uh, some glow bracelets from Primark, snowflake glow bracelet. How cute are they? And also just some Christmas stickers that again came from the pound shop. So yeah, that's the girls Christmas Eve boxes. I just... I think this is just beautiful <laughs> and hopefully they won't break it and it will last them for years and I can just refill it every year but yeah I will link all the shops uh, that all this stuff has come from all the Etsy stores I'll link them down below do go check them out really great service from every single one of them can't knock them at all right less chatting more wrapping <laughs> Wrapping is done. Whoop, whoop. That took quite a long time. Didn't help that the Sky Man came to fix our skybox while I was in the middle of wrapping everything up. But there we go. We is done. <sighs> I always feel better when the wrapping up's done because I know, like, Rich just won't do it. So I have to do it all. But I enjoy doing it. It's done. Happy days. So having finished wrapping up all the Christmas presents. I've come to sort them all out, um, separating them into which family and which ones are going where. And I was going to try and see if I could get some under the tree. And look what I found. What on earth is going on here? Oh, I should have known. Poor Polly. Oh, Polly, it's all right. I'll save you. Oh, my goodness. You horrible little elf trying to run over Polly. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> <laughs> One thing I haven't really done yet is uh, sort out the Christmas cards that we've already been sent. So I've just stuck up some twine up there for us to hang our cards on. I'll show you what ones we've got so far. You've already seen this one from uh, the pain in the butt that is the elf. But yeah, we've already had some lovely Christmas cards from some lovely Disney friends. So this one is from Jay and Gordon. So thank you very much, guys. Very lovely. I've got so many nice Disney cards this year. There's this one, which is from our friend Mark. I love this one. Look at that. That's from our friend Roger. Thank you very much, Rog. And then this one, which is from Kane. So thank you very much, guys. I'm going to stick these up right now. There we go. Cards up on the wall. This wall doesn't look quite so bare now, so that's good. <laughs> Hopefully they'll stay up this year. We had some issues last year. They just kept falling down. 
hopefully I've done it better this year. Right lovies, I'm going to end today's vlog here because I think I'm just going to chill out and watch Christmas films for the rest of the day. <laughs> I've got Christmas with the Cranks on at the moment, which is another one of my favourites. Um, I've got to go run a few errands now that the weather seems to have calmed down a little bit. I'm hoping that's a storm done because we've actually got blue skies now. It's still a bit windy, but not, not too drastic. So hopefully it will stay like this now and yeah, can get on with our lives. So yeah, I'm going to go do some errands and then just come back and watch Christmas films. Thanks very much for watching guys. Uh, always appreciate anyone who takes the time to watch these vlogs. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, Hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Have a magical day.